Hi guys, this is absolutely fantastic. I'm so excited. Um, I've been coming to this site trying to get photographs of short-eared owls for ages. And I did a vlog um, a couple of weeks back uh, about trying to photograph short-eared owls. And I've turned up to this site a number of times and they were here, but they were just too far away and I didn't get any photographs at all. Um, and uh, there's a link to that vlog sort of just up here somewhere now. But this is great. I've got my shorted owl shots. I can't believe it. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's a shorted owl just over there, quartering sort of the fields. And I thought this would be a good time because it's rained for days and days. And I don't think the owls have been able to get out and feed much. So I thought this would be the first dry afternoon might be a really good time to try and get these owls. And, and it was, it was fantastic. I've been waiting here for a couple of hours and I thought, you know, I'm going to strike out again. This place is just not a lucky place for me. But the short eared owl arrived. I've got some really, really nice shots. I'm so pleased. And uh, it just sort of shows that persistence does pay off with wildlife photography. You've just got to keep cracking on and hoping that, you know, the, the, uh, the owls turn up. Um, so this is just a really small mini vlog. I'm not going to go into camera settings or details. I just wanted you to be with me when I sh I've got my, my owl photographs. I've tried for so long to get these, so many hours, and I finally got my short eared owl shots from this site. And the light's not been bad. It's not been absolutely fantastic, but it's been pretty good. And I've got a little bit of backlight shining through some of the wingtips. It, oh, honestly, it's been great. It's fantastic so um i'm not going to say too much more um all the details about shooting sort of you know owls or photographing owls will be in the other vlog as i say there's a link to that um uh, that's just come up uh, so have a look at that if you've got a minute but aside from that the pictures that i've taken i shall put on the end of this uh, video and i hope you like them and um yeah that's about it really fantastic really really great fun um, so yeah uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, and if you have enjoyed it and you haven't already subscribed to my channel if you can consider subscribing that would be great and if you can press a little uh, like button or share that would be also brilliant oh yeah and if you do subscribe if you press the notification bell then you'll uh, be um, made aware of when my next uh, video is uploaded but oh, how good is this shoot it out at last so thanks a lot thanks for watching and uh, I'll speak to you soon guys Hi guys, I finally got my short eared owl shots. And I was, as you could hopefully see on the, uh, the previous um, clip, I was so pleased. And um, I wanted to say, you know, the thing about wildlife photography is um, it's really accessible. You don't have to go to the ends of the world or ends of the earth to get great wildlife um, pictures and great wildlife experiences. The place I photographed um, the short eared owls is 25 minutes, maybe half an hour away from where I live. And it, I had a great experience just watching that owl. It wasn't just about the pictures. I'm really pleased I got some great pictures, but just watching that owl gliding, you know, over the landscape hunting and slowly banking and turning its wings and being silent while it was looking for sort of little voles uh, and other rodents. It was just such a great experience. And that was 25 minutes away from where I live. So you don't have to go to an exotic, exotic location a long, long way away to get a great wildlife experience. And one, that's one of the things I love about wildlife photography. I can go just down the road and I can get some really great pictures and a really great experience. So yeah, it was good. Um, and I, I was shooting for about 10 minutes, I suppose. Um, so I spent hours and hours waiting for the owl to turn up, or owls, there's more than one, but in this case, it was just the one. And it was there for about 10 minutes hunting um, and close enough for me to photograph. And I probably took probably two, three hundred pictures in that time. 
and you sort of have to take a lot of shots with wildlife because you know occasionally you might just miss the focus and it, you know some of the shots might be slightly out or the composition might not be quite right or the wings might come up and block the face out so you take a lot of pictures when it comes to wildlife it's totally different to landscape or architecture or, or travel or stuff like that where you can be a lot more considered because the subject's there it's not moving around it's not going away so when i'm doing a landscape uh, photography workshop for example um, you know one of the things we do is take a long time over each composition so that you know we work our way through it slowly but with wildlife you know you've got to be really switched on when that wildlife turns up you've got to be concentrating you've got to shoot lots of pictures and you've got to nail the exposure nail the focusing and you know some of them might not be perfect and that's the whole point you take lots so you concentrate all the time but yeah it was a great experience and as I say close to home and that's the beauty of wildlife photography so I absolutely love it um, yeah so um, I think that's it for pretty much 2019 um, my next vlog uh, I think I'm going to put together the best of uh, 2019 so the best wildlife clips and the best um, uh, wildlife pictures and I'll probably put that out at the beginning uh, of the year so you know early January so this is it for 2019 so I hope you've all had a, a fantastic Christmas uh, I'd like to wish everyone that watches my channel a happy new year uh, and also I really would like to say to all of you that watch my videos that like my videos that subscribe to my channel that share my videos I really 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 do appreciate it it's the reason you know uh, I myself and I suspect most people on YouTube keep going you know we really really do appreciate the support and I want to grow this channel in 2020 uh, I'm going to do lots more wildlife um, videos uh, some landscape videos as well I mean I do shoot almost an equal amount of landscape and wildlife but I tend to find it seems to be on my channel the wildlife videos uh, seem to be more popular so there'll probably be more of those next year um, but there'll be some landscape ones and some close-up macro and all that sort of stuff as well so yes I'd just like to say thank you for your support thanks for watching thanks for listening and have a great 2020 happy new year to all of you